have to perform a new experiment thermal conductivity of rubber tube we can perform a thermal we can calculate the thermal conductivity of rubber by tubing method here is the experimental setup here is a steam boiler and this calorimeter we use the steam boiler and calorimeter and we can find the thermal conductivity of this rubber tube by using tubing method so this is the experimental arrangement for this experiment and the formula for thermal conductivity k is equal to 2.303 into capital m divided by twice pi small l into t into bracket t dash plus delta t minus t divided by theta minus t minus t dash upon 2 bracket complete log of r1 upon r2 where capital m is mass of the calorimeter ms is the mass of calorimeter and capital m is equal to ms plus w that is water equivalent that means we can take 100 cc of water in this calorimeter w is the mass of water l is length of rubber tube emerged in the water t is the time of flow of steam capital t is initial temperature of water on and calorimeter t dash is final temperature of water and calorimeter theta is temperature of steam r1 is outer radius of rubber tube and r2 is inner radius of rubber tube so to perform this experiment first we can put this rubber tube we can take 100 cc of water in this calorimeter then we can emerge this tube like this in this way then we can emerge the tube in the calorimeter and then we can heating this steam boiler and pass the steam through this tube up to 15 minutes at the time we can take the observation mass of the calorimeter capital M is equal to 105 grams mass of water is 100 cc then water equivalent of calorimeter is equal to 105 into 0.9 is what specific heat plus 100 cc of water is equal to 194.5 capital M is equal to 194.5 then specific heat of calorimeter capital S is equal to 0.9 calorie the length of tube emerge in water L is equal to 9 centimeter here the observation then time flow of steam there is 15 minutes we can flow the steam through this tube that means 900 seconds initial temperature of calorimeter initial temperature of water of the calorimeter capital T is equal to 23 degree Celsius and after passing the steam through the tube the final temperature of calorimeter of water T dash is equal to 46 degree Celsius and the steam temperature theta is equal to 99 degree Celsius then we can calculate delta T from graph into from uh, slope of the graph into T T is the time to flow of steam that is 900 second then we can take the observation for inner and outer diameter of the tube so we can use the rubber the stamp pad for this tube and take in this way we can measure the outer diameter 
of the we can measure the outer diameter of the tube by using micrometer by using traveling microscope and we can also measure the inner diameter of the tube just like this by using traveling microscope there is small d so radius inner radius is r1 outer radius is r2 of the sorry outer radius is r2 our outer radius is r1 and inner radius is r2 by using this method we can find out the outer radius is equal to 0.45 cm and inner radius of the tube is equal to 0.24 cm then <coughs> after 15 minutes that means after 900 seconds we can take the observation time against temperature so we can start the stopwatch and take the readings for 25 minutes for cooling is shown in the above table so from this observation table we can plot a graph of temperature versus time as shown in the above graph then we can calculate the slope of graph from this graph and then this slope of the graph is 0.0046 into t that means time to flow the steam through the tube is 900 second therefore delta t is equal to 4.158 then we can calculate the thermal conductivity of rubber tube by the formula is k is equal to 2.303 capital m is equal to 194.5 divided by 2 into pi that means 3.14 into l is the length of the tube immersed in water of the calorimeter inside this there is 9 cm into t means time to flow the steam there is 900 seconds into bracket t dash means the temperature final temperature of water of in the calorimeter is 46 degree celsius plus delta t is equal to by taking calculation slope into t is equal to 4.158 minus t is the initial temperature of water is 23 degree celsius divided by theta theta is the temperature of steam minus t is initial temperature minus t dash is the final temperature 46 divided by 2 bracket complete into log to the base 10 r1 upon r2 the value of r1 is 0.45 divided by 0.r2 is equal to 0.24 that means log of 1.875 then after by calculating we get 0.0088 into 27.158 divided by 110.5 into log of 1.875 is equal to we will get the thermal conductivity of rubber tube k is equal to 0.00059 so thermal conductivity of rubber of rubber tube by tubing method k is equal to 0.00059 calorie per centimeter per second per degree celsius thank you